Hey everyone, Kiwi King 77 here from the Android Creative Syndicate team here to do a video for you guys showing you how to update your market app to the latest market 3.3.1.1. So no matter what uh, version you are on previously, this is to show you how to update to the latest 3.3.1.1. So I'm going to go to my market right now and go to settings and scroll down as you can see build version 3.2.0. That's what I'm on. You might be on something different, but 3.3.1.1 is the latest. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to get it. So click on the link in the description of the video. It takes you to the Android Police website. Big thanks to them for posting this for us. As you can see, Android Market 3.3.1.1. Go ahead and scroll down, and download is right there. So click on it and download it. It's going to be an APK file. Looks like this, Market 3311 APK. So put that APK on your phone. So make sure it's on your SD card, internal storage, or wherever. Just make sure the APK is on your phone. You're also going to need a Root Explorer app. Um, I use Root Explorer or just an app that can uh, navigate through system apps. But what you're going to need to do is go to Root Explorer, allow it super user permissions once it asks, so you will need to be rooted to do this. So allow it. This is if your the market doesn't install normally. So you can try installing it normally on your device. If it fails, this is the method you're going to need to use. So what I'm going to recommend that you do is go to your SD card then. And then find that uh, Market 3311 APK. So go down to it. It should just be that APK file. You're actually going to need to rename it. So press and hold on it. Rename it. And rename it to Vending.APK. So go ahead and go Vending. So just rename it to Vending with a capital V. So Vending.APK. Hit OK. Once it's renamed to that, find it again. Press and hold on it. And hit Copy. And then go back. And then go to the system folder, and then go to the app folder. And then inside of that, make sure you check uh, mount r slash o. So make sure it says r slash o up at the top, and just hit paste. And it says vending that APK already exists, you want to overwrite it. Just hit yes. It's paste in progress. Go ahead and hit go back. And then I'm just going to go ahead and recommend that you reboot your phone now. So go ahead and power off your phone. I'm actually going to recommend you wipe cache and Dalvik cache as well. So I'm going to have you guys go into clockwork and then wipe cache and Dalvik cache. So I'll go ahead and do that real quick once my Epic Touch 4G does shut down. All right, now that my Epic Touch has shut down, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. You're going to need to get into clockwork. On the Epic Touch, you press volume up and power button at the same time. It's going to vary based on whatever phone you have. So make sure you go into clockwork. And then once uh, you get into clockwork, I'm going to recommend wiping cache and Dalvik cache. All right, so now as you can see, clockwork mod, I'm in clockwork mod. All you're going to have to do is go down to wipe cache partition and select it. And then just hit yes, wipe cache. So wipe your cache. And then once that's done, go to the advanced menu and select wipe Dalvik cache. And hit yes, wipe Dalvik cache. And once that's done, just hit go back and reboot system now. So go ahead and reboot your phone. Once your phone boots up, it might take a little while considering you wiped Dalvik cache. So keep that in mind if the boot up takes a little longer than usual. But once it boots up, you will have the updated Android Market 3.3.1.1. All right, now that my phone has rebooted, I'm actually going to go to my app drawer now and find market. Should be there. There it is, market. As you can see, it has an updated. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the home screen. So as you can see, it has an updated icon right there, market. I'm going to go ahead and select it. And here you go, updated market. As you can see, UI is the same here. I'm going to go to menu, settings, and scroll all the way to the bottom. But as you can see, build version 3.3.1.1. So there you go, right there. You are updated to the latest Android market. So very cool. It does add some cool settings features. So go ahead and scroll uh, back to the top of the settings. And as you can see, you have auto update apps. You can check that, and it should automatically update all of your apps automatically. Or you can have it do it Wi Fi only. If you're on Wi-Fi as opposed to if you don't want it to do it on 3G. So just a heads up there, you have the auto update apps option, which is very nice and cool if you ask me because that is something that I don't like to do is manually go in and update all of the applications that need to be updated. So very nice right there. You can also auto add shortcuts, which will add shortcuts for new applications. So I'm assuming once a new application is installed, it'll add a shortcut on your home screen so you can go to it. So there's that in case you like that feature as well. You can also clear your search his history as well. So those are your new settings right there. I believe it has a little smaller font within the app. Um, just a little di couple different uh, 
style changes to it. Nothing, nothing big as you can see. Just some style changes. I believe when you go to the search, uh, I guess not. I thought you had a voice option. I might not have uh, voice search installed, but I believe a microphone should come up for voice search. So in case you do have voice search installed, I don't have it right now. I just flashed this ROM, so I need to update it. But anyways, there's that. Just You'll notice just a couple little minor differences, UI differences, just little differences. But otherwise, very nice settings updates right there. So uh, props to Google for updating us so we can basically automatically update our apps without having to do it manually. So very nice right there. If you do run into any problems when you're installing this market, have any questions, feel free to ask, leave a comment on the video. I'll be happy to help you guys out. Be sure to subscribe to me as well for future videos. And uh, as always, follow me on Twitter or Facebook. Links will be in the description of the video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give uh, this video a thumbs up if you like it.